Hi guys, Sarah here from Cyclone Designs. Um, I posted a painting yesterday that I was um, mucking around. I did a, a chakra inspired um, bloom swipe the other day, um, but I didn't do a video for it, unfortunately. It was just a spare of the moment thing, jumped to and did it. Um, but I wanted to do it in the proper fashion of a bloom um, with basically the puddle pour um, type and I did it with the black. I thought it was a little bit muddy. Everyone's given me some wonderful feedback and loved it, um, saying it's more shadows than mud, um, which I truly appreciate people. Um, so this is, this is it. What I'm gonna do today is do the exact same thing, but um, with the slight variation of using instead of the black activator I'm going to use a white activator so I've sort of lined up all my paints here they're all still ready to go I clearly mix up way too much whenever I'm doing these things so I just now this is just a little 20 by 20 um, centimeters remembering I'm in in Australia so everything's in centimeters I do the metrics um, and just sitting on little cups I've actually got these cool new silicon um, mats which I love I just bought off of eBay they're just, they're a3 um, I'm gonna buy some actual baking ones that are like the ones you need um, and do pastry and fondant and th things like that because you can get bigger ones but the um, runoff from the one I just showed you um, the way that's coming away from the the silicon is so much better especially now I'm doing stuff with the uh, the skins so yeah um, definitely going to be investing in a few more of these I'm actually a little bit disappointed I moved my chakra swipe yesterday out of my bathroom into one of the bedrooms that doesn't get used and I've got one little crack in it. I think my paint overall was way too, it was a bit too thick. Um, but that's all right, because at least I know it worked and I can do it again. So if I need to, I will. If I can rescue it, I will. Um, we shall see. All right, so this is just my normal house paint. Um, whoops, that was a bit much. Um, I just use, I get from Bunnings, just the cheapest uh, spring, I think is the brand. And yeah, it's just the cheapest. It's a low sheen um, house paint. All right. Oh, and the other thing I didn't have here ready to go is my cell activator. So just get that out, ready to go. All right. So we're just going to go straight with the, the pores. The purple got a bit lost in the one I was doing yesterday. I'm going to go with a little bit less paint. I think I've had way too much paint yesterday. So we'll just go make this a little bit smaller. This is the indigo. So the first one was violet. So these are the chakra colours. The indigo I sort of made up myself um, from a little bit of a deep plum as well as some darker blues but none of them seemed dark enough but I'm really happy with the the way the colors come out so that's just like a cobalt blue green orange I'm so not an orange person, but lately I'm loving the way the orange comes out in these blooms, especially. Now the yellow. I'll put a bit more of the yellow because I quite that disappeared a little bit too. I'm going to use very minimal of the red this time. I had. Uh, plenty of red on there last time. I think it might have been a bit too much. Alright, that should be enough. It's a red I made up for my Anzac Day theme with my little individual bloom poppies. 
I was really pleased with how that came out. Um, I've got quite a few friends who are vets, um, some from more recent times um, in Afghanistan, one that's covered a couple of different um, <laughs> wars, which really sucks. Um, but, you know, very, very proud to know know them and call them friends. Whoops, I have just got the green in my blue. That's what happens when I'm trying to keep them in camera, but so you can see, actually that blue is the same color as my mat. All right, let me just put the lids back on here. I've got the heater cranked up today because it is freezing. It's all about, oh, nine degrees outside okay some of you if you're in the states and things like that are going to say that's not that cold um doesn't quite snow here where i am um but yeah it's autumn and we've got some terrible terrible weather it's miserable it's been raining for the last two days straight um and it's just yuck all right let me give this a quick don't tell me i'm out of gas Little torch. All right, now let's I like a little bit of my activator and the outside bits too. All right, excuse me, getting my head down in shot, but let's blow. Let that sit and come back together a little bit. I'm actually just going to turn this around because there's one spot. Right. Now I've not got this on a turntable so I'm going to tilt this. It's amazing how different it is with the white versus the light, light that I can see already. I'm just going to wait for this bit to sort of come back in. Just... just while that does that, just encourage this out a bit. So it's MDF, I just cut up myself. I actually buy it in um, sheets of 900 by 600 mil. And um, yeah, I just cut them up to whatever I like. I did a whole, you know, some that were 30 by 30. Uh, these ones were 20. All right, let's see how we go. I like to try and move it really slowly, but the whole thing seems to be moving. I've got one bit that wants to stay in the spot. Come on, stretch rather than move. Here we go. Oop, sorry. Still learning how to get the angles right so you guys can see properly. Just 
trying to get those that sort of muddy petal off. Send it off the corner. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can. Try and get it back to the middle. I have a feeling this might have worked better if I had the yellow as the end colour, but as I said, I was trying to keep the whole chakra colours thing going. And that ends with red on the, well, yeah, when you go from the top, it's the violet on the top and then down. Try and see if we can get rid of a little bit of this white in this corner. Just trying to get it to move into the middle a bit more before I tilt it too far. Because I don't want to stretch this out too far, but I think it's going to anyway. back again. I think that's about enough. Because there's some really good lacing action going on. Try and get it back into the middle a bit. Think I'm going to leave it there. I love this side, not so much this side. I reckon that's the red. Don't know. Um, but yeah, hang on. Let me clean off my hands before I go dripping white in the middle of the damn painting. Ugh. All right. So yeah, got some good cell action going on. It's so different. This is the exact same combination as I said of colours. I may have the amount of color might be a bit different but that's the the black activator that's with the white it's amazing how different they come up just with that different activator um but yeah there's some great lacing action going on here i'm not getting that i don't get that whole shadowing thing which i get which I see so many other people getting with the amazing whatever colour is underneath it, basically doing exactly what the activator does. I don't know what I'm doing wrong in doing that, in not getting that, but, you know, learning as we go. If anyone knows what it is, um, I think I need to watch the more of uh, Julie's um, videos. She's the queen of these... Um, yeah, getting that, that real shadow underneath um, action going. But as I said, I'm pretty pleased with this. is a pretty, it's, it's amazing just how different it is. I'll just give it a quick torch. All right, well, there we go. Um, that's the exact same one. I hope everyone likes this one just as much as they liked the... The one with the black activator, personally, I like this one more. Um, 
yeah, I'm a bit pleased with this. It's a bit different. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, please, if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe. I am not sponsored by anyone. I use um, all my paints are a, a mishmash at the moment um, of, of paints that I've gotten when I, you know, because I'm just starting out. Um, I just grab what I can. There's some Montmartre in there. There's Kmart ones. There's um, the Araldo ones that I love from um, that I buy from Riot Art. Um, yeah, as I said, not sponsored by anybody, but you know, you can kind of use just about anything. I haven't tried with things like the kids' paints and stuff like that, um, but you know, I've seen people have successes with those, so you know, you just never know. Give it a go, um, that's all you can do. I'm no, well, yeah, I'm, I'm no artist. My dad, as I keep telling everyone, is the artist in my family. I just like to throw paint around, apparently. Um, <laughs> so anyway, as I said, like and subscribe. Try and make somebody smile um, and try and keep yourself smiling. Anyway, guys, try and have a great day. See ya.